Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be covering the sequential bundles that were just released in the Armory. I know I'm probably a little bit late to this. I want to be, I want to do these things early in the morning, but I had some stuff to do, so I didn't really get to them. So if you go to the Armory, you'll see these sequential bundles. Now you'll know I'm a huge fan of the sequential bundles, and I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. I'm kind of battling allergies, and I don't know where my good microphone is, so I'm using my headset, which has a different one. Uh, if you'll actually excuse me for a second, got to blow my nose. There, sorry about that. But anyway, hopefully I sound a little bit better. But anyway, we are going to be covering these sequential bundles that you can currently find in the Armory Note. I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to release a video. I... I've made several videos that are probably never going to be released because they're just ripping on wargaming. They're ripping on this game. And you can find dozens of people who are going to rip on this game, say that they're stupid, say that they're this, say that they're that. I don't want to be one of those people. I do not want to be one of the people pointing out the negative flaws in a game. There are so many people... That, to, to quote somebody i don't remember where i heard this from this world le needs less critics and more builders i would much rather build up this company and reward them when they do something good than be just one of the people who's just smacking them when they're down i'm sorry that's i'll, I'll message them and say hey you, you guys are a bunch of morons you know like i had a problem recently where i would go to press fire on my ship and for some reason it would ping the map and I would have to close the game and reopen it in order for it to do that. And this is in the middle of battle. I typically come back. I would typically be pink because I closed out of a battle, even though I'm now back in that battle. By that time, I'm, I've either lost half my health, I'm out of position, I haven't been doing anything for a few minutes, and it, it's just been sucking. And it's always the worst possible time. It's always in the middle of a fucking ranked battle. Sorry, I just swore. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's always in the middle of a ranked battle, and I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> oh my lord. But anyway, let's focus on the positive, should you get these. So, I've gone through and I've put up a, and I've put together a spreadsheet to see if this is worth it. Obviously, the values are going to be different based on your opinion. I would encourage you to list what your opinion is of the value. It helps me in the future when I make these spreadsheets, so that I can see just what it's worth. Because it might be worth something different to you. I am literally, I'm literally looking at stuff that is for sale, in the game, on the website, and saying, hey, what is this worth? Some of the values, I think, are a little inflated. Some of the values might be a little under underappreciated. I want to know your guys' opinion. So, Let's start off with this. So first off, from my dead reckoning, I'm just going to throw the spreadsheet up right now. You're going to get roughly 31,000 doubloons of value for less than 8,000 doubloons. Now let's go through them one by one. So first thing, you get 3x of the Golden Age of Industry containers. Now these are really a cool container. Now these are not the premium containers that were for sale. These are just random containers. Now these were kind of difficult for me to put a value on. I wanted to appraise them at about 1,500 doubloons, but the fact, or not doubloons, uh, coal, but the fact that you can actually get ships out of it leads me to believe that they'd probably be closer to 6,000, 3,000 coal. So that's inflated the value a little bit. So I would appraise them at about 500 doubloons per container. I know that's a little high, but let me know what you guys think. Two days of premium, that's pretty simple. Go up. One day of premium is 250 dubs. Bada bing, bada boom. 500. Um, rare, these are the blue bonus containers. So the rare bonuses are the blue bonus containers. So these are the ones that are a little bit more valuable. Now, I do think you get... So you get three of each, and you get, you get three rolls, and you get three... Three uh, <laughs> econ bonuses in each roll. So you get nine econ bonuses. So it's a pretty good deal. I would appraise these at about 500 doubloons apiece. 
if they're the common ones, if they're the green ones, it would be uh, probably like 250 and if it was the gray ones, I'd say probably 100 uh, Next, we have the Golden Age of Industry again. These are, again, the base containers. That's a value of about 2,500 doubloons, assuming 500 doubloons per container. This and Voyages containers are next. Now, these ones, I know these ones have been for sale. I don't remember what they were for sale for. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's probably going to be for about $12.50 just because it is a premium container. Let me know what you guys think. Next, we have five days of premium account. I would say that that is 750 doubloons. Now, it's kind of difficult because they don't really have a, a five-day bundle. They do have a seven-day bundle, which is a which is 1250, I believe. So I just assumed, okay, five days, probably like 750. That's what I put a value on. If this came up for sale, that's what I'd say it's worth. So, so far, we're actually making pretty good deals here. All right. So, and that's five days of premium for... 199 doubloons. That's really not that bad. 10,000 coal is next. So as you guys know, I did my video. What is the value of coal? You get, um, it's like 10.82. So 10,000 divided by 10.82 comes out to like 930 doubloons. I'd say this would probably be a value of 900 to 950. Now, just for the sake of argument, I did put 900 in there. But... Let me know what you guys think. All right, so next we're on to the premium Golden Age Industry containers. These I would praise at about 1250 to Blooms. Now, this is single container price. Obviously, if you buy like a bundle pack of 25, the price is going to go down. This is just for, hey, you buy one, that's what the price is going to be. All right, so next we have seven more camouflages containers. Now, these containers, these are just ones that drop that you get every day in the random drops. I would appraise this about 250 doubloons. A piece. That's just me throwing a dart. I don't know. That would give us a value of about 1750 doubloons for seven of them. Next is 2 million credits. For 2 million credits, that's 359. The Exchange rate on that is, I believe it's like, what, what is it? It's like, I, I'm trying to remember. I think it was 1,500. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's 1,500 credits per doubloon. So that's 2 million divided by 1,500. It's worth about 1,300 doubloons. Get back into the armory here. So next we have the two more distant Voyager containers. And... These are the, uh, again, these are premium containers, so I would praise these at about 1250 so that's 2500 doubloons. Next, we have the premium Golden Age Industry containers. For two of them, 2500 doubloons. That's, 50, that's 1250 doubloons a piece. I don't know if because they're in a bundle, they might go down. I'll leave you to decide. Super containers next. Honestly, I, there's no real value on these. There's no real, hey, this is what it's worth. That might be something I want to look into in the future because these are for sale in the uh, in the community contributor tab or in the naval community tab. So that might be something where I kind of figure out, hey, how much are these worth? Like if, if these are for sale, how much? All right, 50,000 uh, free XP is next. Again, that's pretty simple. Just take 50,000 divided by, I forget what the exchange rate is, I think 25, but I came with about two about 2,000 doubloons. Now, I am rounding down on all these calculations, so if it comes out to like 2,150 or something like that, I'm down. I'm rolling down to 2,000 doubloons because I'm assuming that this is going to be like a bundle pack. Like, if this was for sale in the armory, that's what a bundle pack would be. All right, next we have the unique bonuses container. Now, you get two of these. I'm actually going to need to redo my spreadsheet at the bottom because the prices have gone up a little bit. So this would be, I would appraise these at about $12.50 a piece. So that's about $2,500 doubloons. I'll leave you to decide on if that's worth it. Next, we do have 200,000 Elite Commander XP. And for that, I would say that it's worth a. So, what I literally did is I took 200,000, 
divided by three, divided by however many the free XP is. Because Elite Commander XP is worth about a third what free XP is. So if I can figure out what free XP is worth, that tells me what that is. And I appraise the value of about 2,600 doubloons for this. Let me know what you guys think. Next, we move on to the 22x more coal containers. Again, for those 22 times 250, you get 5,500 uh, doubloon value. And then the firepower containers. These, again, I, I don't remember what these were worth. But if I remember right, you could get five for about 6,000 doubloons. But no, I think uh, 7,500 7, doubloons. So I put a value of 1,500 doubloons on. Let me know what you guys think for value. But anyway, so just to redo it, because I did miss some stuff on my spreadsheet before I started. I'm trying to get this done before work, so I don't have time to re-record. You get a value, you get a value approximated of over 33,000 doubloons for less than 8,000. I will let you decide where that mark is on if it's worth it or not worth it for you. Because for everyone, it will be different. I'll tell you this, I'm going to go ahead, buy them all, and then we can uh, figure out just if this was a good deal or not in just a second. All right, so I have the doubloons. Let's go ahead and let's start purchasing. Now, I will say that they don't have like an 8,500 doubloon package. What I did is I literally just, um, I literally just uh, bought the 7,500 doubloon pack and then the 1,250 doubloon pack. So really easy way to do it. Let's go ahead and let's open these. Let's see if we got anything. Not bad, not good, but not bad. Let's go into the next one. This is going to get a little grindy here with bouncing back and forth. Let's see what I get out of this. Oh, so you only get one pack. Okay, so you don't get three of the packs. Okay, that was um, that was a boo boo on my part. I thought you got three of them. My bad. You know what? I'm thinking about the, the econ drop containers that you can get from the crane. That's my bad. That's my see. That might affect the value. I'm going to leave the value as it is for right now just because I don't have time to go back, but I'll let you determine what the value on that is, and I can definitely log that for, for future endeavors. Where did you think? I don't think I've actually gotten a camouflage out of one of these yet, a permanent camo. Right there. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, I don't think I, I, I just said it. And there I go. But uh, that's actually a pretty nice container. I, I like that. that. That was a pretty good chunk of change right there. Five days of premium, now like it. Coal is pretty worthless for me. I'm literally burning it. Let's get the premium container here. And I will say this, that if you're in a clan, this is a great way to farm oil for the clan. And so that's a pretty good container. That's nothing great, but it's a pretty good container. This, yeah, this is a pretty good way to farm oil for your clan because you think about it, this is probably going to be about, I'm going to open 30 containers. So that's going to give us about 300 oil. That doesn't sound like much, but you get 50 people doing that. That's a lot of oil. That is a lot of free. Got to work with the multiplier. Oh, I got another premium camo. I got it for the they might they might have released more um they might have released more camos because I don't remember getting any camos out of these. Yeah. I mean most of these cam camos nowadays are junk too also. The it, it I I'm glad they took the econ stuff off of it, but I really wish they had kept the um the minus dispersion and minus concealment that they had linked to it because I think that would have been smart. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good chunk of Commander XP. You saw the middle one there was seventy was seventy five thousand, right? First one was better, but 
All right, super container time. Let's see what we get. Not going to get a ship because I think I have them all, but let's see what I get. Super containers have been pretty uh, pretty lame for me, and I really don't like what they're doing with them in the future. Okay, so these are the, just the common ones. These are not, or the, I forget what they are, but they're, the, I, I have so many of the green ones. I'm selling them because I have so many. All right, let's get the free XP. Let's get these guys. This is a pretty good deal. This is actually... Three of the free XP. And three of the commander XP. That's not bad. Take it. Not combat mission. On car, pay attention. All right, let's get that Commander XP. That This Commander XP is one of the things that I would say, if you're a new player, you need to get. So let's go ahead and let's get these more coal containers. Let's go ahead and open them all. Might just get a uh, premium container out of that because that's so many. I I didn't think you'd get Elite Commander XP out of there, so I, you, I might have gotten a uh, super container in that that I didn't know about. Back into the missions, Carb. Come on. Uh, Alright. Firepower container. This is what everybody's looking for. And I love the opening on this. Watch this. God, I love that. That is so cool. Nothing special there, but I had all the uh, special stuff out of there, so that's pretty good. But anyway... um. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if I was pretty close or if I was just way off. What's your guys' opinion? Because, like I said, it's different for everybody. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe. I have several other videos in the works that I really look forward to releasing to you guys here shortly. But anyway, I will see you all next time. Bye.